Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial on how to create a PDF in C Sharp using Iron PDF. Today we'll be using the Iron PDF library which is free for development. So open the project, click on the project and then clip, click on the NuGet package, type Iron PDF and search and browse for the Iron PDF library. If it's already installed and update it, if it's not installed then install it, but in this case we'll make sure that it's updated. All right, and I'll go to, to the form page. And now make sure that you have it designed and looking like mine and is working. And click on the button and open the code. At the top, add the Iron PDF references using Iron PDF. And then go to the button created PDF by Iron PDF. Declare VAR variable HTML lines with new Chrome PDF render and this will help render the whole PDF. And declare the string variable text and take input from text box one and store into the text variable and call the VAR variable HTML lines functions render HTML as PDF and then make sure the function is calling and the function calling will look like this Pass the value as the parameters entering the following. Open the tags and the text variable in which there is PDF content. Make sure that the PDF tag heading open and close is working fine. And then call save as function and write the name of the PDF that we are creating. Now we'll write the code for the message box that will display so message box dot show and we'll write file is created by iron PDF next we'll define another variable called footer so string named footer and then add the value to the footer as powered by iron PDF now we'll complete the variable, go to the render HTML as PDF function and add the footer at the end. Now we'll go to the design page and run the project. When a deb uh, debug window form will pop up, go ahead into the text box and add the messages you like. So in this case, I hope you'll find this Iron PDF tutorial useful. The uh, file is created message will pop up. Click on OK and then stop the debugging and go to the directory where the project is located go to the bin folder go to the debug folder and there's the file and we'll open it up using any browser that you have and there you can see the file is created with my content and there you go that's all for me as always I hope this was informational and informative and if you need anything at all our support team is standing by ready to assist